All right, guys, welcome back for part three of Zelda. It's not a stream if we don't have the hat on. I'm gonna try this. I got a little puppy that is uh, really wanting some attention right here. Say hi, everybody, or don't. Okay, he just wants some love. So we're gonna try this. We're gonna kick it off. See if we can't get another hour in of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This will be my third hour. I probably do, you know, like three or four to get started and then uh i should be able to just grind uh grind it out <clears throat> but keeping it at an hour makes it uh, easy for you guys to be able to catch it in short little uh stints so if i can get the puppy to stop starving for attention we can get back into the game now what was i doing i read the guys the old guys uh Diary, and I have to go up there, which I don't know that I can climb that far. You uh, stamina out. What do you want? Stop digging at me. You stamina out whenever you start building or climbing to the point that you can't. Uh, okay, I guess we're going to put the dog down. Okay. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody. And there you go. All right, back to what I was doing, chopping down the tree. Take the apple, just take the apple. Pick up the wood. I don't know how much wood I can carry. That, that's the only downside that I, I just don't know yet is I'm not sure how much of one thing I can carry. Just curious, what happens if I, uh... Just, just to try one. Okay. Those are definitely a lot more powerful. Oh, I just... The uh, arrow drop in this game is real. Let's just get that out there. Are you shooting arrows at me? Oh, let me take care of this guy. I need a new bow. Oh. I need a new bow. Oh, great. Now my sword's broken, too. You were saying... Ow, dude. Don't really feel like dying today. <clears throat> Winner in this corner. I think that's why they have that. Find the other arrows that I misfired. One second here. And... I need another shield right at the moment. I do, however, need another sword. Apparently, I'm hoping, not apparently, eventually, that I will be able to repair those so that I don't lose them that fast. Otherwise, the game is going to teach you to... I don't think I can take that. Teach you to um, avoid contact.
So the axe, I'm guessing, doesn't. Hold on, let me see if there's a, a way to see the status of this stuff. Is there a way to see that it's damaged? I mean, other than telling me right there. Whatever, maybe it just shows wear on it through time. Because I'd be better off to drop this thing. And go pick up another one. Let's try that. Well, that's good to know. There's stuff in here. Worth picking up. I think I need to eat that. Or eat that. I think I have some apples. So let's hold five of them. Put them right there by the fire. You have them anyways. Alright, so that gave me three. Now I have some baked apples. Let's see if we get stung. Run away! Are they coming? They're coming after me, aren't they? Yes, they are. They don't have a nest to go back to. Where are you going, guys? Ooh. Oh, that's right. There was some uh, purple mushrooms back there, too. Give me a new sword. New sword. Bomb arrow. Okay, that's new. Well, I tell you what, they don't uh, they don't waste time in getting you new things. So either either there's a lot of things you're gonna be getting in this game, or they just why can't I grab that? A rush room, a mushroom that can grow almost anywhere, but prefers ceilings and sheer cliffs. Cook it before eating to temporarily increase your movement speed. time. So I don't think this map is as big as it seems. Either that or I'm just really traveling a lot more than uh, I thought I was. So uh, we read the journal. And we found out that there's something that the old man made which allows you to re resist uh, the cold. The problem is he uh, lost 
one of the items in the recipe. And I'm thinking that's something that we probably will need to try and figure out. So at the at the cost of Oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. What if we do a uh bomb? Oh wow. This guy this guy's means business. Spicy pepper. I uh, actually have those. I gotta find out what the other thing is, I think. So, I guess we should probably take a second and try to figure this out. Actually, I just keep going with these guys. They keep giving me food. Thank you guys for the food. Um. Let me, I think, Spicy pepper. Nope. Oh, gotta get used to that. Hold. Is it an apple? No. You're fine. <clears throat> Might have to take care of the dog. I don't remember what that recipe was. But I was thinking it was a spicy pepper. Seriously, dude. Stop! Stop! Every time. Every time I sit down to do this, he decides, you know what? I have something I have to say. So, I guess I'll be right back. All right, we're back, we're back, bring it back. So I don't remember. Uh, four shrines, I don't. Don't think I have the recipe. So that's not gonna work, but. Well, yeah, wait a minute. Let's go find the recipe. We're going to find it. Because I have a feeling it's going to get gold up here. And the amount of spicy peppers they're giving me tells me I need to make some of this stuff. Or at least figure it out for them. I don't know that I have enough for it. I and I can't believe this. I'm I'm not. It's an acorn just rolling. I'm not a uh, Nintendo fanboy, but I will say this much: so far, I am impressed with the fact that they've basically taken a tablet and turned it into a console. I haven't even taken this thing with me and, and played mobile yet. Or on the go. Portable. 
I've only played it just uh, here with the... Where is this guy's house? With the, uh, the joypad or whatever you call this thing. I had to remember these buttons. Um, but I, I mean, I can see the rendering. I can see how it, you know, it, it takes, but I mean, the, uh, there's nothing in this game to complain about, uh, graphic wise. It, it's stunningly beautiful. All right, old man, I'm going to read your, your journal again. Uh, Desolate Plateau, call it spicy meat and seafood. Not only restores health, but also keeps me warm. Warm doublet. I don't know how he forgot it. It was raw meat, spicy pepper, and if it's something seafood, right? Be a... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just had a thought. I just had a thought. I hate to, to use... Oh, I don't have raw meat. I do not have raw meat. I have seared steak. So I need raw meat, and I'm thinking it's the frog. Spicy pepper, frog, raw meat. So I gotta find raw meat. Let's go find some raw meat. Apparently you can't get raw meat from the bad guys you kill. So I need to get... Hey, Matt, help, welcome back. I need to get, I think, a rabbit. Or a squirrel, maybe? Or maybe the old man. I can get some raw meat off of him. Just kidding. Shrooms. So uh, I don't know if you went and, and did it, uh, Matt, but you could go back and uh, watch the first first video, and you'd get an idea of uh, how the game starts if you wanted to. Who went that? Yeah, I, you can't kill the old man though. He, he's integral to the story, so. Um, got to figure out how to get some raw meat. I just have a feeling when I walk up there, he's going to tell me I need to figure it out anyway. Well, the spicy pepper, I guess, keeps you warm. But this other thing is supposed to keep you warm a lot longer. Well, I, I guess you, you haven't missed much. I guess you don't you don't have to watch them in order other than, you know, uh, it explains that thing right there, the, uh, the tower, and how you get the map. I think, yeah, that's how you zoom in. All right, so, all right, let's just go towards the, uh, the cold area and see... Because I have to be able to get up to that one. That's what I'm headed towards. And I can't climb the mountain because I don't think I have the stamina to do it. Nothing's like Dark Souls. See, I've, I've never played Dark Souls. I honestly don't think I've ever even seen a, a minute of it played by anyone. But, oh, there was a... There was a squirrel. Um, I have played Oblivion in games like that where you can kill the NPCs. I think I lost the squirrel. This is where I saw the acorn rolling before, so I'm thinking...
thinking the squirrels like to hang out around here. It's a butterfly. Well, from what I hear, Dark Souls is a very difficult game. And I don't like difficult games. That's why we'll see how many times I can die in uh, Zelda before I just say, you know what, that's enough. I can't do it. Alright, let's see what happens. You watch the temperature's just going to drop. Yep, temperature's getting there. Find warmth soon, or you'll take damage. So, a torch maybe? I don't have patience when video gaming either. <laughs> I don't know that this will work to keep me warm. Obviously, you can see the warmth level is higher since I have this torch on me. But, I don't know, maybe this is all I need. Maybe I don't need that other stuff. Let's see. Oh, I won't be able... Well... Unless I can bypass the uh, the water. So the torch is keeping me warm, but I won't be able to go through. That's not the one I'm going for, I don't think. Yeah, no, that is one that I need to go to, but it's not the one that I'm going to. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't know why, but my torch went out as soon as I went to look at that thing. Will that light on fire? Nope. This is the direction I need to go. I don't know, is Dark Souls like a uh, multiplayer game, or is it just you, the individual? I don't know if you can jump on the wooden post sticking out. I'm not going to try it just because I don't... This is the direction I need to go. I'm going towards the uh, the purple one. So I'd imagine either you can or at some point you can. So I don't know that I'm going to be able to climb this. While I'm carrying this torch. Oh, hurry up. Oh, and I won't be able to light it up here either. I don't think I want to do this. I'm getting too cold. Uh, I'm getting too cold. And these guys are going to start attacking me. Ah! Who's hitting me with arrows? Ow! Oh, I didn't even see you guys. Hey, you mind if I uh, come near your fire? Just for a little bit. Okay, good. I'm warming up. Ah. Oh, boy. Eh, yeah, we don't want a throwing spear. Oh, dude. You hurt me. Uh... It's multiplayer, they just do those a little different. Progress counts for both when you do things together. See, that was the one thing that turned me against Elder Scrolls Online, was because literally you could have somebody join you, but then if they went and didn't want to partake in your mission, they didn't have to. They could just run off on their own. And it didn't, uh, it didn't work together to help both of you. Guys, do some damage. Ah, oh, my claymore's damaged now. 
And... Oh, I'm on fire. Alright, um... You can pass time by the fire. I don't want to do that. I need to heal up real quick. People do in the Dark Souls again. Okay. Occasionally, but if someone summons me, I do my best to actually help them. So, is it... Is it kind of like a Diablo in, like, uh, dungeons and stuff? Because that's not what I thought the game was. Give me a shield or oh, I'm gonna get cold. More arrows. I don't know if the torch actually wears out. Just need to get up here. Oh, great. Oh great, the body will still- oh. Yep, I lost my- Crap. <clears throat> I lost my torch. And this thing's gonna eventually burn out. I don't think I'm ready for this. I should have taken the guy, I think he had a torch back there. Back by his hut. No dungeons? Well, maybe I'm not thinking of the right game. Let's beat them with the fire stick. Yeah, but the problem I'm having... Oh, look at this. I could have just come up here and dropped... Well, then how would I have snuck around them? I want to see what that guy's doing up there. sleeping oh great it's not even on fire anymore where am I going right here no 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 climb down it's too cold I'm gonna die how much further do I do I can't let go let go just do it Oh, come on, guys. I guess I could take... Can't take that. I have too many... Uh, open world. See, that's... Yeah, that's not the game. But doesn't it have, like, bosses or something that are, like, incredibly Im impossible to beat kind of thing? It's got something. All right, you'll be right back. Oh, to target. I keep forgetting. ZL to target. Stasis. So we're going to freeze things. You know, I think I only have five slots. Sheikah Slate Authenticated. Distilling Rune. Um, I think I only have five spots for these runes. And this is putting me up to four. So, maybe, maybe the game is only like, you know, four hours long. 
I have six. Okay. Stop the flow of time for an object. It stops an object in time while storing its kinetic energy. The stored energy will act upon the object when the flow of time resumes. Making good use of the stored energy can move even the largest of objects. Ah, this A and B button needs to... So, when it says stored energy, is it like... Well, it doesn't go any faster. Make the run. About to find out, right? Nope. Ah! This A and B button is gonna be the death of me. Okay, I still have it. So what if I stop it back here? Just out of curiosity. Can I make it? Alright, so that. Ooh, what is this? Gotta pick this up. I don't think I can take it yet, but I'll. I will get rid of something. Or not. Why can't I get rid of it? I think it's the AB thing. it is oh I didn't even notice he uses the uh, Sheikah thing to open it It's going to take this long. Indiana Jones style. Hate to leave that shield here. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm hitting the B button. Alright, so 
Let's take care of this one. And then we'll see if we can't get Uh, in the name of Goddess Highly, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Yes, I passed your test. I love that arm. It's just sitting there. I'll probably get annoyed with it, but I love the fact that it's just sitting there flapping. Symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. Yay! Go me! May the goddess smile upon you. Yep, you can disappear now, E.T. <laughs> Alright, so we're down to one more. I think I should try and get to that. Um, by the end of this, this video. I really need that glider. Dude, I hit it twice. I mean, what do you do when you don't have a weapon? Push it. Nope, all I can do is climb it. Get down. Alright, so the other one. And of course, I've lost my torch. I should just jump. I've lost my torch. Don't even tell me there's an easy way through here. I guess my bigger question is going to be, am I able to play two of these games at once? Because I know I'm going to want to play this uh, on my lunch breaks. Now I'm going to die from being too cold. Uh, we can get to the fire. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Okay, apparently I can jump pretty far and take just a little bit of damage. I'm warming up. Um, I got nothing. I got nothing. Where's the other one I have to go to now? I need I need a torch or something I can set on fire. Can I set that on fire? Nope. I can't just run and risk it. Um, they've got me in a bad spot here. I have nothing that I know of that I can light on fire. So Dark Souls does have bosses, and they can be very hard. Just depends on which ones they are. Okay, but that's the point of the game, though, right? Is to go fight the bosses. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit this one out until whatever. See if this will heal me. That would be nice to know. I got to go get... Nope, it does not heal you. That's good to know. So I'm just going to have to run for it, I guess. I hope I don't die. So I got to go get another torch. Takes a half a heart every time. It's 
the whole heart. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Duh. Eat it. Huh? No? That doesn't warm me up? I thought it did. Nope, apparently it doesn't. I need to make the stew. And I need to get a, uh... Okay, so yes and no, but they also make it so it kills you as many times as possible and there's no difficulties. Okay, so you start out on Dark Souls easy, but it's more like most games hard or very hard. Yeah, see, I don't, uh... I mean, if you like a challenging game, you might like that. Why do I get the feeling that that means something? Hey, there's a torch. Found one. I need to get rid of something. Stop using the left and right. Let's uh, get rid of this. Hold on. Let's go talk to the guy real quick. Put your axe away. I I think we need the stew. I don't I don't think I'm gonna make it. Get some raw meat off of this thing. This bird. Oh, there's a squirrel. Oh, come on. I don't know how they saw me. I was quiet. I do not like challenging games, no. I like games. In fact, if you just gave me a, a game and said the object of the game, you're not even racing, you just go from point A to point B, I would be perfectly happy with that. Hey, old man, where you at? You're still chopping on that tree. Need your. Hmm. How is your shrine exploration going? I thought this tree here might make for some good firewood. However, getting a tree to fall exactly where you want it is quite an art. The trick is to turn your hips so that they face where you want the tree to land. Hmm. So, I see you found my axe. Why not help me? Out and give it a few swings. I'm working up quite a sweat here, but these bones could use a break. And the axe does break. So, sadly... Sadly, I lost my axe. I didn't want to lose my axe. Almost fell off the tree, though. Why am I playing? This isn't a challenge. I'm going to try out this hammer. Challenging games for me. I mean, okay, so... Wow, that guy just went flying. So did that guy. Bye, guys. Um, games where I have to, con you know, continuously do over and over and over and over and over and over just to do one thing, I don't like. Doing one thing and dying once or twice to get it right, 
I don't have a problem with that. I need these apples. I need to stop hitting the B button. I see a shroom. Oh, no, nope. See, I'm already out of stamina. That stamina thing is quite the issue. It's hard from what I've heard. Well, we'll find out. That's why I said it. it. depends on how long. I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this game. I'm enjoying it now, and I'm really looking forward to it. What, and that's... I know I don't like going and doing something over and over and over and over and over again. That's why I wouldn't like Dark Souls. Because from what I understand, it's like just trying to kill the same boss over and over and over again. This body of mine isn't what it used to be. Recovering from a bout of hard work takes a while. If you're hungry, I have an empty pot you can use to cook yourself a meal. Uh, simply open your inventory, grab a hold of your ingredients, and toss them in. Try to consider how the ingredients will complement one another. You can even make a dish that increases your stamina. It's about being creative and trying different things. I need some raw meat. I'm going to... Can I take your torch? So what, what does this do for you? you to create dishes that will raise your body temperature and help. Oh, so you have to cook it. You can't just eat it. Yeah, you can. It gives you... You can't eat it. So what if we take this? No, there's mutual emotion bosses, and once you kill it the first time, you never have to fight it again except for two or... But what if you don't kill it? That's, I guess that's what I mean. It, from, and that's what I've been told, that they don't, uh, they don't die easily, and so it takes a lot of, you know, repetitive over and over again. So let's try. Well, that didn't work. I lost some. I lost an egg. Hey, old man, what'd you do with my egg? I don't want to lose any more eggs. Cook. Oh, okay. That's a little bit different. Grants low level cold resistance. Look at that. Four minutes. So that's what I need. That's what I needed. Alright, multiple bosses. Oh, well, if you don't kill it, then you got to do it again. I play it with you, we can kill him easily. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. well, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Which was the, the last one came out, like, what, two years ago? Hmm. I don't know, I've got ten minutes to get this next uh, mission done. find the raw meat, I think. Oh, my kingdom for a horse. Just kidding.
That's where I'm going. I gotta get used to the fact that you can use this controller to mo just motion sensitive. All right, so we got five minutes. Should have made another one of these. Oh well. All right, so where does it tell me cold resistance right there? So almost five minutes. Oh, dur. That was nincompoopishing of me. I need to light the fire. I shouldn't have eaten it yet. I think about three to four unless... I mean, there's been three or four made? Oh, three or four years. Okay. I remember uh, one of the guys at work talking about it. And that was... Well, maybe it was three years ago. I don't know. I've just now wasted a minute of my cold resistance. Looks like there's a ship up there. I don't... Not sure if I want that or not. Alright, so let's do that. Let's light this one. I might have to try and make another one. I need to find some more eggs, I think. Ancient gear. I get the feeling I want to go to that boat. We get all these campfires lit through here. No! No! This will be the end of it. This will be the end of Zelda for me. I'm completely wasting my stew that I made. I think I should see if I can make another one. Thought I lit this thing, didn't I? Oh, maybe you have to light it every time. All right, so that was one of these. One of these, one of these. Well, you can have up to five. What happens if I put this in there? Thank you, Shwara. We'll see. Oh, this, okay, so it just gives me longer cold resistance. Well, that makes it easy. Do you have to use an egg? Maybe you don't have to use an egg. All right. Now, let's go with this. Just don't hit the B button, which you think is the A button, when the A button is really the A button. I'm going to make it to this campfire. Oh, there's another one right here. Well, well. Why did they put them so close together? Not going to complain. Just wish I would have done that the last time. Don't stand in the fire, Link. Yeah, I think I... Well, wait a minute. Is that a bridge? Can I take the bridge? Oh, great. I don't know what that thing was, but we'll take the white choo-choo jelly. A jiggly substance that came from an ice choo-choo. 
It's cold to the touch, and squeezing it seems to relieve stress. If struck, it will explode in a cold mist. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I did what, Matt? Oh, these are different. Red choo-choo jelly, a jiggly substance that normally comes from a fire choo-choo. It consistently gives off heat. If struck, it will explode in a ball of flame. I have a feeling this game has a lot more, a lot more in it than I have any inkling or idea of. This will be interesting. Um, this is my first day of streaming Breath of the Wild, so I'm hoping to add it and start streaming it a lot more because I just got it, so that's why I'm streaming it. But I normally do... What do we do, Matt? We do Fortnite. We do... Fortnite. No, we do other games. We do, um... What other games do we stream? I'm trying to think of what we've been playing recently. Can't even think. I can't get there from here. I'm not gonna climb down. I'll die in the water. I need a tree to fell. I don't know that I'm gonna be figuring this one out anytime soon. Let me guess, you have a bow and arrow, don't you? Yep. Uh, I'm getting cold. What are they throwing at me? Just rocks? I'm gonna die just from being out here. Um, rune. Oh, oh, oh! I, I don't even think of the runes when I'm not in uh, in the temples. Duh. Yeah, I could use a rune. I think I need to eat my uh, my thing. Oh, that restores health, too? Yes, it does. I did not know that. Nope, can't knock it down. The magnetic rune to pick up the magnetic door. I will have to try that. Give me one second. Can't take that. Alright. The magnetic rune. I just... No, I have the stasis one. Yeah, I think you do too. It'd be nice if it had some multiplayer. Uh, I'm assuming right here. Ish. So we fall in. Oh, I fell in the water. Ow, oh, I fell in the water. I didn't jump. All right, now, yeah, we'll see it work. And uh, thanks, Schwar, for the uh, the tip. It helps. I, like I said, I don't even think to use the uh, the runes. Oh, I know what we've done. I've done uh, some Destiny 2. Done some Black Ops 4. I've done. What else have we done? I've done a couple other computer games. Oh, Final Fantasy 13. Just did that for six hours last Monday. No, wrong one. Yeah. 
guess I have to wait for the time then. Alright, now we'll try this. Now we'll try it. Sorry. Right. I, I am prepared to die muchly in this game. Many much more. Which way do I go here? I've got four minutes left. We can do this. We can do this. I still don't know where I got my boots from, though. Everything else I get from the chest, but I don't remember where the boots came from. I think they just magically appeared. So you've obviously uh, played this. I'm, 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 I'm assuming I'm saying your name right. If I'm not, let me know. Um, but tell me, do, do before you go, do do we get the chance to um, to repair the the weapons before they? get destroyed or do we constantly fight the battle for having weapons there's somebody here there was somebody here it's not the way to get to the temple We can do it, we can do it. Yep, I think we made it. I think we made it. Ooh, ran out of that a little too early. Alright, hopefully this one isn't so tough. almost got this. We got this. We can finish out round three with this one. We're part three with this one. Slate authenticated. Rionis builds an builds ice pillars that are very stable. These pillars can be used as stepping stones or as obstacles. Use Cryonis. On an ice pillar to break it. So... So how do you control how high? Can I climb up it? Okay, I can climb it. Never mind. Apparently I can climb ice. Can I build upon builds? That was completely by accident. Ow! Apparently you don't have time. I thought you had time for your builds. 
That guy's doing some herdage on me. Ancient screw, ancient screw. Assuming that's the side that we wanted to make bigger. I guess it didn't matter. There's gotta be a chest here. Ah, there it is. So how long do these pillars last, I wonder? I guess you have to destroy them to tear them down? That's it. We made it. Anything else I'm missing here? I guess we're able to complete it. That's going to do part three. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you the spirit orb. And then we'll let E.T. just quietly fade off into the distance. Draw your bowstring while jumping from a high place to briefly slow down time so that you can aim with greater accuracy? Interesting. I'm thinking uh, they uh, spent the last 20 years building this game. There's just so much stuff. Are you going to give me the uh, the glider now? With this, you have now acquired all of the spirit orbs from the shrines on this plateau. Uh -huh. Extraordinary. <laughs> that means it is finally time. Link, it's finally time for me to tell you everything, but first... Hmm. Imagine an X on your map with the four shrines as the end points. Find the spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. Seriously? No, I don't understand. Where two lines connecting the shrines would cross. There I will be standing. Oh, now I'm going to freeze. Is there a boulder I can drop on these guys? I need to get down there real quick. Thanks for helping me, old man. Just coming out here to fight around the. Uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Ow! Hey, 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 hey. Why am I getting hit? Okay, stop swinging. Get over there. Warm up. I'm gonna be eating that steak. So we need So 
he says on the map where the four of them intersect. Imagine an X. I'm going to say it's the Temple of Time. Ish. Yep, that's what it is. All right. So can we just fast travel to here? Am I going to miss anything? There's something in the water over here. I think I want to just fast travel. We can come back here. I'm going to freeze to death. I need some more clothes. We'll travel there somehow. Go meet him at the temple. We gotta find out who he is, get the glider, and then we'll wrap it up. Sounds good to me. Well, I still have to get ready for work. Let's get moving. I'm coming, old man. His fire went out. I'm here. I'm here and you're not. Guess I gotta go up. before hold on I gotta see if hoping I'd get something out of there I don't know if 
there's something different about it this time or not. Maybe I was just hallucinating. You have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. It is different. I can offer you great power. It appears you have claimed four spirit orbs. In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will ampli amplify your being. So tell me what it is you desire. Heart container, stamina vessel. You wish for another heart, that's all I get? Yeah, sure. I shall grant the power you seek. I hope this is what I was supposed to do. I was looking for the old man, but uh, he ain't around. Heart container, your life force, ha force has been strengthened, increasing your maximum number of hearts by one. Seems like a lot of work to get one extra heart. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. Yeah, sure. Cool. There he is. Hello, guy. The blessing of the goddess has made you that much more resilient, I see. Hmm. Here I am. Get up here quickly. Dude, I got places to go. I got places to be. Maybe I should have taken the stamina. I don't think I can make it up there. This old man keeps playing tricks on me. Is this like a little rest area up here? Hold on, hold on, maybe. Nope, maybe this is. Yep, there's a little rest area, so I can make it. not up here. The old man is gone. Took the money and ran. Oh, he's over there. Look at him. Next time say ho ho, I'm behind you. See what he's got to say here. <laughs> well done there, young. Oh, he actually talks. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. Luke? I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. <sighs> The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. I hope I have the time for it. <laughs> to know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom 
But his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the Princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Nay! Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, and turned them against us. The Champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight gravely wounded and elapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. 
I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko village. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Sheikah slate for the precise location of Kakariko village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Hmm. Go on. Here's the paraglider, just as I promised. Paraglider, an item that you received from the king on the Great Plateau. It allows you to sail through the sky. Press X while you're in the air to use it. Well, that's going to do it. I'll finish this out and then I'm going to have to wrap it up. With that, you should be able to safely fly off the cliffs surrounding this area. And I think that's it. I've told you everything I can. Link, you must save Hyrule. Or... Don't. Alright. Seek out Impa. So what do I gotta do? Just jump? Hit X. If I can remember what X is. Seriously? You have stamina with this thing? Oh my goodness. They are not gonna make this game easy. Alright guys, like I said, that's going to wrap it up for me. We've played through, uh, I guess, the first chapter, if you want to call it that, for Zelda. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed it. And until next time, I will see you later.